Okay, let's start the deployment. And what we're going to do is get our siege equipment at the front. Uh, that's all of the siege equipment that we actually have. Let's go to generals. Let's put them about here. Group them together as well. Uh, all infantry is going to be grouped together. Put in line. Bows. Put some spikes. Oh, do we don't need to put stakes actually. And we've got some siege equipment here, here, and here. Start the battle. I'm going to tell my two comrades to be very aggressive. There we go. We're just going to get fire at will on. Just pick them off. That's all I'm going to do to, be, to begin with. Just take them out as many as I can. We have them heavily outnumbered. And with our bow capabilities, we should be able to take many of them out. What do they have on the... On the walls. I'm actually going to tell this uh, ballista to aim for this wall over here. Oh, don't go over the wall. Do not go over the wall. Once you defeat, once you open the gate, we'll go for the wall with everything. Then there's going to be a slow siege to try and take them out, if at all possible. We've got some infantry to work with as well, and I have my men coming from either flank. So I got them over here. Look. The AI is going to deploy an attack from that flank, and the AI is going to attack from the other flank for me. If I just uh, try and get the camera to go over there, there you go. It's a fell wheel, so we've got a chance. Got a big chance to outnumber them. Balance power is heavily in our favour. That's why I'm going to take my time. Just slowly besiege them. They do have some uh, catapults of their own, which they are marching up towards me. But what I will do, once I make a hole through their gatehouse and through this wall. I'll send the cavalry with the generals and they can go in and charge them. 32%, 9% damage. Excellent. They have more men on the wall this side as well, which I didn't actually see. Build militia, and they actually have some archer militia as well, so you might be worth actually going for them in a few moments once we open this gate. I'm gonna fast forward it a bit more. See the damage go up 52 56 60 68 72 80 oh it's going up it's going up it's going up this is good this is very good 92 there we go gates are, down. gates are down hell yeah let's go back to normal speed okay less help out by destroying this. All three aim for this wall over here. Crumble the wall down. Got the gate open so they can, my men can come around and flank around and try and take out this side if they so wanted to. I'm not going to involve my archers yet. I don't have many of them. Just going to wait to take out a few more men first and then go for the kill. But with everything aiming for this wall, it shouldn't take too long for it to actually crumble. They've actually taken their men off it. I'm actually going to destroy this wall. I think. Multiple points to attack from is probably the best. Actually, just uh, halt attacking that wall. Wait for them to come out, I think. There we go. Let's do that could take that wall down but I'm not going to they may actually come out and attack me so it's probably wise to do damage from where I am right now perhaps I'll try to see where these shots aim see where they hit where are they going to deploy oh, I paused that in accident Ooh, we're hitting some of the buildings now. Oh, that was a good shot. Killed a few of them there. Victor! 
I think it's destroying the wall is actually a good idea, so we'll continue to do that. We are doing damage over here as well on these units. It's going to be a long old siege, this is, guys. A long old siege, but it's what we want to do. Because I want to have men to take on Scotland straight after this, so it's important that I don't lose that many and take out as many of the barons as possible. Doing a good job so far, though. Bounce power. We've killed 4%. They haven't killed any of us yet. Of course, we've got them split up. We've got them going up here, look. We've got their men up here, their generals up here. They've got men going to this flank because we are trying to attack them from this side. Or we're not going to go into actually going to flank around, so they're going to actually help me out on this flank by the looks of things. And over on the other flank, then, if I can get over here, it looks like they bring in siege equipment down, and they've actually pretty much gotten through here so they can actually take out these guys here and flank around uh, also so we are doing very well in containing them at the moment we've actually got a, a unit of bows here which I forgot to bring up so let's bring it up now this wall is 66% we're going to just completely destroy York and the process destroy the English That wall is going to be coming down soon. This, There we go. A wall has been destroyed. I think that's the other side of the battlefield, though. Yeah, that wall is the other side of the battlefield. Dim problemo, problemo dim. What do they have all together? Militia, militia, militia. They're mainly militia units that they have, so we do have a superiority complex here, which I think we want to utilise. Let's actually do that in that case. Let's... Uh, Let's get these to aim for them. These two can continue to aim for whatever's on the wall. Just pick them off, continually pick them off. 4% to 1% killed. There we go, keep doing that. Wait until our men are a bit cl closer, which they are. No, oh, don't send the horsemen in first, you fucking idiots. Okay. Time to slowly march with all my men now. They can all drop the siege equipment all of these men are going to march up to him going to start trying to climb that in through the gates now there we go, it's going to fire at will on now let them aim for wherever they want to aim for oh don't hit my old men you fucking idiots Oh, fuck's sake. I just shot my own men, you fucking retards. Wait, gotta get in there now, my man. Charge! Ah, she blows. Charge. Oh, look at that. The fucking general's gone. General's routed in because they just decided to run in front of my firing line. Oh, shit. We lost an ally. I think we just shot him to death. Fuck. This is what I didn't want to see. Fucking AI. Why do they lead with cavalry? You don't go with cavalry into a fucking castle, you idiots. Absolute idiots. Right, main infantry is going to charge in now. Bows are going to support. The whole point of this is to kind of whittle them down. We've actually lost 5% each, so... That's not really too good. I want to check this side of the battlefield, see how things are going. Still firing on gates. Why don't we just charge? Go through the gate. Capture the gateway, that's good. But why can't you just charge in? You've got all of that superiority, you fucking idiots. Surely you've got to charge in from there. You could outflank them by now. This is why you should never trust the AI in Total War games, guys. First hand proof of it right here. Although we are getting through, which is good to see. I'm going to put a couple of Shiltrons on, though, if possible, because we're going to be outflanked otherwise. Big clusterfuck of men there. My Ballista crews are gone in as well. Just chuck them all in, fuck it. See, I haven't deployed my cavalry yet, because why would I throw them in there? It's absolutely pointless. 
We've lost more men than they've lost, which I don't like. Don't like how my men went around and gone through here. We've got more men on the way, Gwent Raiders. Scyther Bowman. Why are the Scyther Bowman going in there, you fucking idiots? Oh my god. May have to withdraw. This may be a withdrawal job, this might be. Let's see how we do at this gatehouse at first, and then we'll make a decision. Depends how many we kill. I think we are losing, aren't we? I'm going to fast forward this. My impatience is growing. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, wow. victory will be ours. Yeah, we're not. We're only. We're going to be bit, uh, bitten. We're going to be taken back by the looks of things. But we've got them down to a low amount of men. We do have more men on the way. Merinoid spears. Get those bastards in there quick away. Get flaming shots on. Let's just aim for their archer militia. With my men. My cav is out of range up here, which is good. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I think we've actually got men attacking them down here. All we have, look at this. Good, they've broken through. Through They're going to wipe out the town militia here and they're going to be able to outflank them for me. So it's worth fighting this battle because we are going to take this settlement, I think. Should take the settlement. York will be mine eventually. Need to group up all my men now. All my infantry are still with me. I'm going to be going for one last hurrah, I think. Let's just charge back in, men. Charge back in. If we want to kill men, charge them all. Kill them all. Aim for those archers up there. Still have an artillery crew. I can just throw them in, perhaps. Just throwing everything in at the moment. Charge! Look at that. Straight back in. They get routed straight away, though. Building captured. Go back to 1%. The good thing is we are distracting them. Like, their generals come to the forefront now. Which means we want to be aiming for him. All our bows aim for their general. Because if he goes, then... We've actually got two general bodyguards. One with 27 men, one with 31 men. So, if we were to take him out, then we'd be looking really good. Meanwhile, over here, we have beaten them back. we got men now, which can go up here and go to the capture point. If they do that, if the general's bodyguard here does that, which it looks like he is doing, then we can take the capture point. They'll have to retreat and fall back. We have men up on the walls here, and we also have some... Infantry and skirmishers coming down here to take on the spear militia. So we've got men out flanking them in the streets while we be the decoy at the front. This is insane, guys. This is absolutely insane. Right. I'm going to group up more of my men again. Whatever's still left to be used. Let's um, try and get a formation of some sort in order. Go to a shootout stance. They've got sighted bowmen and stuff. Let's use them. Let's just um, palm them off for now. Let's try and get them to come to me. Do 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 body got to go 27 men, don't like that. But I'm gonna go for a shootout stance. Try and outflank them. Which I think we are gonna do. How many men have we lost? 40% to 43. See we we are whittling them down slowly. It's a long drawn out process, but it is working. They got more men charging in, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Charge all my men towards their bodyguard unit. While all my missile troops can just Continue to fire upon them. Use fire if possible. It's lovely, lovely. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Let's check how we're doing in the streets. With my reinforcements, we are rounding them all up along here. What about the main street? We have broken through. Pursuing. They are shaken. This is not good, but we've got more men. English billmen that are going to meet them in the streets here. English billmen charging in. Getting some kills over here. Let's get that unit route thing off the screen. 
this is good. We're going to get them up here. And they've only got town militia blocking the way and one bill militiaman. They can go straight through for the capture point if they do that. Meanwhile, the cavalry is marauding around the place, taking them out. They've got lots of men up here, my allies. They've done a very good job on this flank, actually. The decoy worked well. I wasn't going to fight this battle. I was willing to let it go a few turns. But I think just getting out of the way and, and winning is probably the main thing. So that's what we're going to try and do. Obviously, most of my army's gone, but apart from my kind of cavalry and my bow units, but it was a, a risk. But it was a risk worth taking, and that's what I've decided to do. Got more men to throw in now. I actually got some Bill Militia chasing me out. Boiling oil is going to go into their own men. General's bodyguard units come out to play, look. 27 of them. Ch chasing down with the hell here. Just charge. Charge, 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 charge. Kill. Kill and charge. Got our general's going to come up as well, I think. Look at this. I can't believe their general's come right out. My opportunity now, then, to take out their general with my own. Now is my time to use him. We've got him out in the open. He thinks he can take us on from here. He is absolutely mistaken. Oh, what's my general doing? What is my ally doing? Fucking idiot. I got fresh cavalry to use though, which is good. Down 26, look at this, we got a fresh general. The charge into the rear. We can take out the uh, general here. We've got them out. This is good. Got them out. Surrounded on each flank. Down to 20. Battle still in our favour, which is good to see. I mean, this gateway. Look at the look at the state of that. That is fucking menacing. My general can take out their men. They've only got Tau militia, see. So I'm not really too bothered. I can probably go for a charge now. We've actually broken through their ranks here, I think. I mean, they do have some spear militia. I'm gonna have to be careful of. But apart from that, it's not too much to worry about, really get some of these bows to be utilized this is good we've got them down to six they are starting to pull back now as you can see I want to take out this general over here though we've got the general outside the castle he split up from the rest of his main force and my men as you can see have made it to the center that's why they pull him back Oh shit. One of my generals is dead in the center. Building's been captured the gateway, but we do have more men funneling in from these streets, English bill men. So hopefully we can squash them at the center and win this battle. Although time is starting to go against us. We are less than half of the battle remaining. Only one man remaining. Got Enemy general's dead. Which is great to see. Lord Leonard's dead. We've actually killed him now outside this battlefield. Let's just get in there with my cav. Control A. Get them in there. It's just piling in the streets. It's, absolute, it's an absolute travesty, this battle. It's been losses all the way around. But we are doing it slowly. We are getting men in and we are going to try and get some kills. If we can take out this street here, maybe take out some of the town militia and archer militia, which we are doing. Archer militia again taken out. Let's uh, go past them and go to the town militia. There we go, lovely. This general is charging in. They have a catapult that I've got to be careful of as well. And I actually have some bows that can fire for me from this range by the looks of it. Oh. Or not, I don't know. Don't want to 
Jump in too far with my calf. Get the calf back, you fucking idiots. English Bill men routing. It's been one hell of a roller coaster this battle, but they are down to. Well, we've killed 72% of them, which is good to see. I got two generals in this army, so I don't want to lose them. I want to wait for more of my men to get in, which they are. They are starting to outflank them now. We've got Welsh spearmen, we've got heavy billmen going into all this. They've got catapults here. Catapult crew, we're going to go for the catapult crew, I think. I'm just going to get rid of all of these things here. And everything is now going to charge into the catapult crew for me. There we go, general's going to charge in. Into the catapult crew, Lance is down. Charge. There we go, lovely, straight into them. Second charge coming in. We're going to go for that Bill Militia next at the back. While they hold up the front, we're going to take up the catapult crew this side. <laughs> Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Still not over. Still a long way to go yet, but... We should theoretically get a victory here. A little bit of a rallying cry. We're nearly there. Scythera Bowman route in. We've actually got some archer militias here. We need to take them out. This catapult crew is taking forever to die. Right, I think we can disengage and get to that archer militia over there. More units are route in and more English are coming my way. Let's retreat down this street. Need to get out there quickly. Get my calf out there. Because we're going to be sitting ducks otherwise. But we've weakened them enough. We've got more men. We've got some English bill men on the way down the street. We've got some Welsh skirmishers over there as well. We've actually got a English bill men holding up against the catapult crew this side. So plenty of damage being dealt all around. We've got them down to 81%. It's been pretty neck and neck all the way but of course we have more men so we should claim victory in the end we've got more men filtering in as we speak probably fast forward this to be honest with you although why aren't they why aren't they marching they should be marching surely here they come that's what i wanted charge you fucking idiots we need you <laughs> we actually need you at the moment so don't just sit there you fucking idiots archer militia Tower Militia, Spear Militia. That Spear Militia is going to be quite dangerous. Unfortunately, but apart from that, I think we can cope with the rest of it. My allies have more men in the streets. Hopefully they'll come back. Building's being captured. Just looking for the best point to attack. Mainly militiamen, but I need to get more of my men in the actual building. Let's just fast forward it while we wait for more men to arrive. Behind me, as you can see, we've got about a couple of units of Morganog spearmen. Quite a few of them, actually. They are very tired, but I have cavalry that I can utilize. I'm going to actually march them slowly towards them. We actually have heavy bill men charging now, which is why I'm going to charge as well. Double charge. We're going to charge the the general bodyguard. He's coming to us, so we'll come to him. Get ready for it, men. Get ready for it. Are you ready for this? Come on, get a good charge, please. Charge. Lance is down and charge. Kill a couple on the charge, good. It actually wasn't the best of charges, but it's effective enough. Perhaps, perhaps not. We're losing men. They're not losing many. May have to disengage. Hate disengaging like this. Down to 17. Oh my god, this battle has just been so long. Lord Ennard is dead. I thought we killed all Ender in, in the battle earlier. 
maybe it was a, maybe it's two Lord Leonards, I don't know. Our army is tiring. Unit route, Scythe here. Ground at 13. Another rallying cry, please. And the spearmen are going to catch up. Just going to hold on. They've got literally nothing left. Surely we're going to win this battle. Time is nearly up. And we are firing everything into them now. I'm going to have to disengage with the cav. I just can't sit there much longer. I'm going to have to fast forward as well. Let's get out of there quickly. Cavalry's out. Unit routes. Let's fast forward in. Get rid of all these unit routes. Off the screen. Look at the time. Alright, I got nothing left apart from the cav. Let's get the cavalry up this flank. If I'm going to lose my generals, let's do it in style. Spear militia up there. This town militia there. We're actually going to lose this battle, I think. Charge the town militia. Come on, charge. They're in light infantry. Charge. Another rallying cry. We have lots of infantry holding them up here. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, there's a catapult we're going to have to take out there. <laughs> take out the catapult. Listen to me and go for the catapult. Ignore them. My militia can take care of them. There we go. Disrupt the catapults. There's only four of them, five of them. Didn't see them there, but they were sneaky enough to get in my way. Down to two. Being chased by spears. Let's get out of there again. I can't believe my generals are still alive. Like three and two. Just get out there for fuck's sake. Unit routes again. My lord. My lord, we've lost control of the city. Ooh, we've got control of the city. This is good, they haven't got enough men to hold it. This is really good, they haven't got enough men to hold the city. Just get my men to walk into a decent position. We've actually got uh, Morganog spearmen. Lots of Morganog spearmen that can hold them up here. And when they pile in, we can just charge them from behind. And we'll get our victory. Just let it go a bit further. Spear militia is just going to hold by there, I think. Let's just fast forward. Are they coming my way? No, they're not. That's good. Okay, now we're going to go for a charge, I think. Rafael, we're units have routed. Now we go for a charge. Defeat seems certain for them. Victory seems pretty good for me at the moment. Let's go for a charge. Charge. Boom. Into the back. Down to four. Down to three. I think we've done it. The soul that's left of them. Let's get my men out there. I don't want more generals to die on me. Fucking get out of there, you crazy bastards. Surely that's it. All that's left is two men. One man remaining. This is all that stands in my way. It's this one guy. Kill him. Yes, he's dead. Holy shit, we did it. Only by a sword's edge. Fucking hell. Look at that. Men remaining one. We lost so many men trying to take that city. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. But York is ours. We have our victory. And I'm going to be exterminating the population of York. Missions expired. Resistance is futile. Trait increased. Prince Howell is now a mean leader. Revolt has been suppressed. Excellent. Noble death. Gurgenai Elise. Melier of Gwent is dead. And William Edouard is dead. But 
the important thing is we have taken out the Barons Alliance and we have unified all of England and Wales as far as the landmass goes and we now have a unification. I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.